a billion reasons to be bullish on crypto right here, right now, with us all together in the Cryptopian crypto space. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. I'm Kiara Cass. Thank you for being here with me, my wonderful Cryptopians, my rock stars. Guys, it's been six days since I did a video for you, although I did do a live session for you on Monday. If you were around, go check that video out. It was very, very cool. Um, lots of stuff happened in there. Today, I'm going to show you a couple crazy things that are currently happening in the markets that you want to keep an eye out on. We are not finished with our pump in crypto, nor are we in Bitcoin. Now, we are literally just getting started. So let's go and have a little bit of a look at what is about to unfold going forward in the crypto space. Thank you to you guys for being here with me again. Now, guys, let's go and see the Morales money. Okay, the Morales money bubbles. We have a lot of bleeding busy happening here out there today. Um, Bitcoin is like hovering, but you know, if Bitcoin drops 1%, 2%, all altcoins can drop like 10%, 20%. So, you know, I would say like for every 1% move on Bitcoin, altcoins fall like between 5 and 10% is on average. Okay, so you can see that that's busy happening out here. So very interesting in this space. The total crypto market cap is still sitting pretty chilled. It's down 0.7% for the day, so not bad at all. Uh, we have a lot of um, new cryptos that are coming up. In the space so very very nice and, and interesting to see those pumps we are still sitting above two trillion and we are at 105 billion dollars trading volume bitcoin is now sitting at fifty one thousand seven hundred seventy one dollars today down 0.4 percent for the last 24 hours and up four percent for the last uh seven days ethereum is sitting at 2941 bnb at 352 solana at 105 xrp at 54 Lido at 2939 and Cardano at 59.58. AVAX at 3740. I actually got taken out of my AVAX, stopped out of my AVAX trade yesterday, so that's a bit unfortunate. But I will definitely re enter AVAX once I see some solidity and support there. So we'll talk about that. And then the same thing with Chainlink. I would love to see those come out. Now, uh, Polygon has had a bit of a pump and it's now sitting sub $1 at 97 cents which is looking juicy, guys. Chainlink at 18.77 and Polkadot at 743. So crypto space is looking good. And that's exactly why we have the Fearing Greed Index sitting up here at 78, which is in the extreme greed side of things. Now, if we know anything to go by, when we hit extreme greed or extreme fear, we generally at extreme greed, we have sell-offs. And at extreme fear, here, we generally have uh, a lot more buying opportunities, discounts in crypto. This is overvalued. So are we there yet? I don't think we're there yet. And that's why I have so many articles to share here with you today. Starting off with the top analyst predicts massive rise in altcoin market. I have spoken about that to you guys. If you are watching my live streams and you are subscribed to my channel, you're going to see me talk about those things. Go check out my live stream. I'll leave a link pinned in the um, in your cards for you guys. So names his two favorite uh, crypto subsectors. So first of all, this is uh, Pentoshi. Okay. Yeah, we haven't seen anything yet. We could see this potentially when it's all said and done. This cycle hit a couple trillion dollars. We aren't even close to new highs yet, but we are seeing the winners of the cycle, which should in theory have more upside. Okay. 27 all time high. Okay, look at where we are right now. That is the 2017 all-time high. Bros, you realize that if you look at the total alt market cap, we haven't had the cycles alt season and the best performers will remain the best performers. So look what happened here when we actually, I mean, that was the all-time, I mean, there must've been an all-time high here. And then we pumped here. We'll have a look at that in a moment on the charts, but here is essentially the potential of the pump that we could be looking to see. So AI and gaming, I do happen to agree with those. I have three top crazy narratives for this cycle. Okay, well, actually I have four. So my first one is definitely AI. My second one is gaming. My third is um, uh, uh, BRC20 or Bitcoin uh, ecosystem. Absolutely, guys. Uh, and if Bitcoin ETFs are being adopted, 
watch what I'm going to show you in the news later on in this video. You guys will see why I'm talking about BRC20 um, or the Bitcoin ecosystem. And then lastly, but not least, but real world assets. Okay. So I've been speaking to you guys about crypto like Landshare and a number of others. Those will definitely be pumping like crazy. Now, proof of humanity, guys. We've seen um, Polygon pump over the last week or so. Proof of humanity project with palm recognition technology announces partnership with Polygon Labs and Animoca Brands. So a new crypto backed by the team behind Polygon uh, wants to introduce a new proof of humanity protocol. So da -da -da -da, ZK EVM, uh, existing proof of personhood technologies can be invasive, complex and burdensome. By leveraging the cutting edge technology using non-invasive biometrics that lie at the core of the proof of humanity consensus mechanism, uh, Humanity Protocol is building a user-centric ecosystem that can onboard millions to a verifiable digital identity solution that is truly decentralized and respects the principles of true digital ownership. In the process, enabling better equity in and inclusion for all participants. Uh, so Deepin Systems, there you go. So according to the press release, the partnership will result in a wide range of Web3-based applications, fully on-chain gaming, and decentralized social media or DSO to enterprise DeFi solutions, uh, fairy drops, network states, uh, real world assets, what I just said, and uh, deepen, de um, decentralized physical infrastructure. Guys, there are so many beautiful narratives that are about to explode in the crypto space. So if you want to make free money, come and join us in the crypto space. Use my Bybit link down below. You will get yourself up to $30,000 deposit bonus when you use my link down there below. And my Bitflex deposit bonus, when you deposit into that account, you will get up to $88,888, which means that you have a potential to have $128,888 of pure bonus to trade with, make free trades, and make some crazy gains here for yourself, your family and get life-changing wealth right here, right now. Do that, use my links down below, guys. Here's a rational Bitcoin price prediction for the cycle according to a trader who called the May 21 collapse. So uh, Dave the Wells, okay, is who called that. The speculators in the space can roughly be divided into those that believe in diminishing returns and those that don't. Adherence to the DM diminishing marginal returns principle would roughly agree that price will track the channel as sketched in the first chart so that's this channel here so it would roughly track the chart okay so kind of bounce up and down up and down but still making its way up creating higher lows and higher highs essentially um those rejecting the principle see price transgressing uh it as something like the second chart as possibly breaking through to both sides the first seems a lot more rational to me for at least it has something empirical and historical to go on the analysts etc so here is the other chart so a parabolic run and then a crazy drop i don't think we'll see a drop that low to be very honest with you although i would say that we probably could come back down to like 50k at that point i don't think this would essentially happen um i i think that this for me is more likely to happen too especially considering the parabola in the previous cycles where it has had that just increasing uh return over time so i also don't believe in the diminishing return really the btc fib extension gives a target of about one hundred and eighty thousand dollars so sure currently bitcoin is trading at about 51.7 dollars thousand dollars guys don't miss out on these opportunities now According to Stock Money Lizards, shout out to you, brother. Um, not only is the halving approaching almost four years, but Bitcoin is also shaping its typical pattern. This cycle repeats every four years, even though it is not a popular opinion. The halving will initiate the bull run. So here is the halving. Here's the bull run. Here's the bear run. Here's the accumulation phase. It's 50%, 50%. The same thing is going to happen uh, in the future, guys. Right now, we're in the accumulation phase, okay? And we are literally... A ticking time bomb waiting till we get to the halving point okay which essentially will then take us on this crazy parabolic bull run guys and as you can see here the kind of peak of this potential bull cycle 
could be at around 250k. I keep talking about 275 to 300k, and that's my personal target. I'm going to continue to stick to that. That is my thesis that I've drafted up for myself. Of course, I'm here every single day, whether I'm making videos or not. I'm here for you guys, and I'm here in the community actually looking at these charts, and I will engage more on Twitter going forward because there is a lot to share and we do not want to be missing out on anything. So uh, make sure to subscribe to my Twitter page there, guys, please. That would be absolutely amazing. Now, another one from Stock Money Lizards. If we have a look at this, um, when BTC seems to be a little bit overbought, okay, look what actually happens. So you have the parabolic runs and it's generally about 15 bars, 13 bars, 15 bars. So Call it an average of 14 bars, okay? Um, which is plus minus about 400 days, okay? We literally have absolute madness going through the parabola. So the same thing is currently happening here. I think we're going to go through and pump in this CC1 bull zone even more, which is going to give us that beautiful parabola that we might see. And I mean, look where this is potentially ending us up at. Could be at like $380,000. Here is why we likely hit the prices of 200K by mid to end 2025. So, <laughs> BTC still has a long way to go, guys. Now, uh, I wanted to share from Bitcoin Archive here a couple things with you guys. First of all, the nine, the nine had biggest volume day since day one with about 2 billion in combined trading. Thanks to big contributions from HODL, BTCW, and BitB, which all broke their personal records. For context, 2 billion in trading would put them in top 10 amongst ETFs and top 20 amongst stocks. It's a lot. Look at that trading that just happened there, guys. Crazy. And that's from not even the top 10. Okay, so if you have a look at this, okay, shout out to Bitcoin Archive and Bitcoin Magazine. But more bang for your buck, think again. US house prices are through the roof, literally, while wages stagnate, home costs skyrocket. But Bitcoin flips the script. From a down payment to a full purchase, soon you might snag a home just for one BTC. So have a look here. Okay, we eventually will have one BTC buying a home. Okay, talking about $300,000 a Bitcoin price, right? Plus, so it is going to happen. And a fun fact here, pretty cool fun fact is, 13 years ago, um, two days ago, Bitcoin price was 90 cents. Guys, today we're at $51.7 thousand dollars. I'll let that sink in. Okay. Uh, guys, if you're enjoying this video, make sure you are please giving the video some love. That would be truly appreciated for the YouTube algorithm because we know that sometimes they really just try and push us off the tracks. But um, just in, Bitwise CEO says their spot Bitcoin ETF was approved for full access to advisors at a $30 billion nationwide RIA, one of the largest in the country. I don't know about you guys, but this is massive, massive, massive. And so massive, I'm going to repost it because... If we saw $2 billion come to the market yesterday, imagine that all of the Bitcoin ETFs have not even got to the value of $30 billion purchasing uh, yet, okay? Uh, even though we had the Banek spot ETF volume going absolutely para freaking bollock, guys. Look at that. Um, not only that, we have other beautiful Let's get these things loaded, yeah. The congressman, US David, um, Warren Davidson, says CBDC is an existential threat to Western civilization. So if you're subscribing to the fact that you want a CBDC, I don't know what you're thinking, but, uh, you know, you will literally have spies on your ass 24-7. Not that we already don't, but, you know, VPNs, use my link right down at the bottom of the description of the video here. But if you use that VPN, you will get yourself an absolutely incredible um, discount there on NordVPN, which is what I use every single day to protect my data on my computers and my cell phone. So do the same, guys. You can use the
the same subscription for what like two dollars three dollars a month um you know to to protect your your data and your ip from hackers and and shit out there so south korea's opposition party is now pledging to let domestic investors buy a buy bitcoin ETFs. both parties are now supporting the lift of the ban so guys more money is coming in and not only that blackrock drops a new spot etf ad bitcoin ets has landed i bet the iShares bitcoin trust now lets you access bitcoin where you get your stocks and bonds so you can manage all your investments in one place isn't that very interesting right that things are just unfolding and happening the influx of money the bull cycle doors have not even yet been opened so um i showed you this beautiful article there and uh i want to show you this let's make sure that all of these are also loaded okay if we look here um just in BlackRock and Fidelity now own a combined 203,609 Bitcoin that is worth 10.6 billion for their spot ETFs. Didn't I just say to you that 30 billion nationwide is about to be approved to come into Bitwise? Okay. The two biggest have only just got in what are 27, 28 trading days to $10.6 billion in their spot ETF. And we've had this pump. Imagine if $30 billion comes in. That'll give you a 3x, um, not on the Bitcoin price, but a 3x value on the pump that we previously had on Bitcoin, guys. I don't think you quite grasp the concept. And last week um, had the largest weekly inflows of Bitcoin ETFs on record at $2.45 billion, guys. Uh, this is not stopping. It's just increasing. And you are not bullish enough according to Jeff Kodakis and myself and Crypto Zombie, Carl from the Moon, Da Vinci, uh, Crypto Kid, MM Crypto, AM Crypto, all of the awesome Gs out there, guys. Before Crypto, Dan Crypto, every single one of them, guys. We are bullish like crazy. And if you have been watching my channel for long enough and you have hit that notification bell so that you know when I do videos like this for you, you are going to know when, um, you know, we see massive influxes. So 2014 to 2017 Bitcoin cycle went 64x from 250 to 16K. 2018, 21 cycle went from 20x from 3,500 to 70,000. The current cycle is low is 16,000. 64x, okay, gives us a $1 million price in Bitcoin. A 20x gives us a $320,000 Bitcoin. These were also achieved that have not ever been achieved previously. That's what I keep telling you guys on my videos. So, um, basically, uh, with this was achieved without ETFs, without easy on-ramps, without institutional adoption, without regulatory clarity, without mass inflation, without corporate adoption and without governments using BTC as a store of wealth. Now we have it all. BTC is currently the best asymmetric risk reward opportunity on earth. Guys, I can't tell you more about this, okay? Um, other than you can see that the US government debt is exploding. I showed you guys this on my live session the other day, 33 and a half trillion odd now. In response, they printed new money M2 to pay for it. When they print new money, your money is worth less. Over 25% of all dollars in history have been printed since 2020 alone. It's going exponential. Guys, if you think the Bitcoin price is going up, the dollar printing is going up even harder, which means that all assets valued against the dollar will essentially increase and the, vol the dollar's value will slowly continue to depreciate and decrease and degrade itself until it's worth absolutely nothing okay is that going to happen now today tomorrow no but it's probably going to happen and unfold in the next kind of decade or two um we will see that unfold guys there is no doubt and if you look at this um 
Up until the 1913, Americans kept all of their earnings. Despite this, America still had schools, roads, colleges, vast railroads, subways, and an army and name. Tell me again why taxes are necessary. Okay, and I just need to actually read this article to you. Um, okay, maybe go back there. Excuse me. Uh, declaration of memes. I just want to sh actually show you this article. Let's go and get this article for you. Um, ba, 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 ba. Okay, it's miles away. I can't see it. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. Okay, but you guys get the point. Like, literally, we have seen some crazy Staying holdings, as I mentioned. Let's go and listen to why you should continuously. Uh, so, just in other words, that article, that meme was basically saying they tax your table, they tax the roof over your head, they tax your car, they tax your milk, they tax your, your, your breads, they put VAT on, they tax your clothes, they tax your cell phone, they tax everything. They literally own everything that you pay. And this is why tax, um, you know, it's a very interesting topic and subject, guys. I think that's a whole nother topic for another day. I want to finish off this video for you guys and show you some charts as well. So let's go and listen to this point, uh, this video here from Mr. Michael Saylor, where he actually says, very much so, at any point would you sell, this is according to the reporter here, I'm going to be buying the top forever. Bitcoin is the excess strategy and there's no reason to sell the winner to buy the losers. Let's listen to what Michael Saylor has to say. But let's talk about your existing holdings. As I mentioned in the intro, now worth around $10 billion. You have paper gains of about 70% or so, which a lot of people uh, would like to see that sort of return. At any point, would you sell? When would it make sense to take profits there? Well, I've famously said I'm going to be buying the top forever. Uh, Bitcoin is is the exit strategy. It is the, the uh, strongest asset. So what we see right now is that Bitcoin has just emerged as a trillion dollar asset class. And it's alongside uh, names like Apple and Google and Microsoft. But the difference between Bitcoin and the Magnificent Seven is Bitcoin's an asset class. It's not a company. There's not a lot, enough room in the capital structure of those companies to hold 10 trillion or 100 trillion dollars worth of capital. So Bitcoin's competing against gold, which is 10x what it is right now. It's competing against the S&P index. It's competing against real estate, a hundred trillion dollar plus asset class as a store of value. So we believe capital is going to keep flowing from those asset classes into Bitcoin because Bitcoin is technically superior to those asset classes. And that, that being the case, there's just no reason to sell the winner to buy the losers. How absolutely perfectly described by the top Bitcoin maxi on this planet. He literally does not want anything else. He'll forever buy the top. And essentially, this is the number one asset on the planet. Why would you have and own anything else? Well, personally, and a number of other uh, crypto traders, essentially what we do is we buy altcoins and we make massive gains in altcoins to be able to then sell those altcoins take profit into Bitcoin and Ethereum essentially, and then make more Bitcoin and Ethereum. However, if Bitcoin is going to increase in price and value, how much Bitcoin do you expect to be getting? So guys, you must know that only once Bitcoin hits its all time high, it's kind of peak, that's when the real crypto cycle actually starts, uh, the altcoin cycle actually starts. So you will want to be able to take profits um, and do some crazy stuff at that point. Now, let's go and have a look at some of the Bitcoin charts here. Yesterday's candle closed very interestingly so. Uh, generally, this is a reversal candle. And you know, once we start to see like one, two, three, four, five kind of indecision candles, we're waiting to make a decision. So right now, this candle is just a mock candle to be very honest with you. Look how much buying power we had come in yesterday. Once again, it was a couple billion, like we said. $2.45 billion worth of Bitcoin got bought up yesterday. So, huh, 
I don't know about you. Yes, we're under resistance here right now, but really we're getting them. We're gathering some momentum. And honestly, guys, this is now starting to look a little bit more like not quite the best bull flag, but essentially that is still quite like a bull flag um, pattern that you can see is unfolding. And if we were to get out of that region, that zone, Okay, let us go and have a look. Oh, sorry. Look at that bull flag, essentially, which would take us... I'm going to put that there. Yep. Look at that target. Look at that target. 65,000. It kind of takes us up to the level that I have been talking about with you guys for a little bit of time now. If you guys were on my live show, I actually told you guys that this... This would be a first level of resistance, really. Well, yes, we're under the one level of resistance, which, as you can see, is right here. We're waiting to get to the next level of resistance, which, as you can see, is major resistance at that 60,000 level. Then the next one will be a kind of a pit stop at the 65,000 level. So, guys, I'm seeing some crazy stuff out there. I don't know about you, but I'm seeing some pretty decent and juicy things that we are literally only getting this bull market started. Now, if you guys recall my charts, okay, this pattern was even invalidated because of all the buying power that, you know, we've had. So I haven't looked at this chart for a couple of days, as you guys know. Um, I haven't been around. Uh, but essentially, look at how we have gone absolutely parabolic up here. We have broken through the 618 here. Maybe we retest the 618, which is now back at 40, 48 uh, 48,700. And then we make a move back up, okay? Um, you know, kind of all, and we do that over the next kind of three months while we, two, three months while we wait for the Bitcoin halving. And then we make this crazy pump all the way to the 65K level, maybe hover a little bit under it and then have the crazy absolute parabolic run in the Bitcoin cycle. Now guys, the same thing has unfolded every single time. I, 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 I don't need to continue to, well, I don't know if I do, but I'm going to repeat the same thing. Once we break the previous all-time high, it just goes absolutely parabolic. We are not that far from the previous all-time high. Currently sitting 33% under the all-time high. That's not that bad, right? Okay. Pretty decent for an asset that people, some people believe is a scam. Some people don't even know about. Some people don't even think about this coin. Guys, there are so many reasons to be so bullish on Bitcoin. Now, this market cap, um, Bitcoin dominance market cap. You can you can see here we've had a lot of buying in Bitcoin, but we're reaching resistance levels, which tells us that the altcoin and the total cryptocurrency market cap is getting ready to make absolutely parabolic runs. Also, so I wouldn't want to miss out on the opportunity. And even if we saw a mild pullback right now, because we've made a little bit of a pump on the breakout of this level here, I wouldn't be surprised if we pull down just a little bit, maybe back down to this point. But I doubt it because we're making consecutive higher lows on the candles and higher highs also. So for me, we're just kind of creeping up here. You know, it looks as though big money is trying to dip their toes into the water. This looks like a lot of buying from people like yourself and myself at these areas here. Uh, I hope you guys bought lots of crypto in those areas. I bought plenty. So I'm actually up very nicely in my portfolio right now. Um, and I would suggest that you continue to look at the cryptocurrency market cap because if we're actually taking a little bit of a zoom out, look at what happened there. So boom, okay, pullback, boom. We've had our pullback. We're on our parabolic. We're we are probably, I mean, I'd probably say we're only around this level here right now. We still have crazy amounts of pumpamentals to go through. And that's why I put this chart up here all the way at a potential $4 trillion market cap on the altcoins and that would and bitcoin may be reaching i don't know do you think bitcoin could reach the gold uh market cap this cycle let me know guys i would like to know what your guys thoughts are now remember to subscribe to my channel and thank you for being here i want to show you my trades so that you guys are with me uh first of all i'm bitflex come over here to your rewards hub um and get yourself get yourself your your daily um, check-in flex points, and then come over back to derivatives. And then obviously, if you guys have deposited your funds, then you can trade. Uh, I still am in my XRP trade, and my XRP trade kind of doing 
kind of doing okay. Like I said to you guys, a little bit of resistance there at that level. Isn't it interesting that the simplicity of trading really is all about looking at the charts and just zooming out. Forget all the, the noise in the chart, okay? Forget the large wicks. You know, this is big players that really just try to get smaller players out of the market. So even in XRP, if we fall back down to this 53 level, whoop to do guys, we probably going to get our momentum to get us a good strong breakout out of this level. The breakout in altcoins are coming soon. Don't miss out. Now I bought, guys, I had the craziest buy entry limit, okay? Look at that limit. I just wanna show you how perfect it didn't even touch it, but it got me in there, okay? Right there, okay? So that's where I got into my trade. And then this morning, because we hit my box here, okay, you can see that I actually bought a little bit more there. Um, I could have been a little bit more patient and waited till I hit my box, but I just decided to get in. And look at what my box is telling me here. Look at the level of support we are experiencing right here on this um, beautiful injective chart, just by the way. So I am in an injective trade. Yes, I'm a little bit down on it. Don't matter. It don't matter. It's never been better. Look at where we're finding support here, guys. Just by the way, I just want to give you an indication. Like I'll even pull that back as far as that. Look at the indication of where we're actually finding support on the injective chart. Okay. We've got, yes. You know, from a larger perspective, we're actually in a bit of a, uh, a falling wedge. So let's look at the falling wedge pattern. We're in a bit of that kind of falling wedge pattern. And get another line here, another trend line for us. Okay, I would say that that probably is the better level. Okay, there you go, guys. So, in fact, it looks more like a bit of a downward sloping channel. Okay, so cool. We could kind of bounce and break down here. Possibility. Um, I don't quite know, but what I do want to say to you um, is if we have a good look at the charts, okay, you can see that there's a potential for us to have a very strong breakout to the upside, also. Now, bearing in mind, this is the four hourly time frame. We got a bit of down sloping momentum here. We have created a bit of lower low. We broke this area here. We created lower lows. So we could come down and retest even kind of lower here. Okay. But at that point, I would say we would probably consider a massive bounce off of this level where we are and break through back up to here. And if we fail to get out of this area, the likelihood if we fail even to get up above this area here, so let's draw a little line here for you guys. If we fail to get up above that, the likelihood is then we return back down to the downside to retest the lows once again, um, these lows once again. So that's my injective trade. You guys can see here, it is down a little bit. It's down by like 18%. Not a problem. I don't have a problem, but I increased it to a kind of 17 uh, I put $17 in, and because it's a 15x trade, um, that is $252 worth in a trade. Now, my Bitcoin and my Bitcoin is still doing phenomenally well. Guys, if I see Bitcoin start to find um, a bit of like, uh, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? Support, excuse me. Support, I'm going to continue to add to my position. In fact, I'll probably throw like maybe another $100 into this trade. Okay. And then we'll see some really good margin and profits come out of that trade. My Matic trade is up 18%. So, no, those two cancel themselves out. So, all in all, I'm in profit on my account once again. And thank you for being here with me today on the Crypto Bliss channel. Use my Bybit and my Bitflex links down below. Pin in the comments of this video. And you guys will get yourself $128,888 bonus. Thanks for being here with me today. I truly appreciate every single last one of you beings. I hope you enjoyed the long video. Make sure to hit that notification bell because I have an incredible... Um, altcoin video coming out for you a little bit later on the Bitcoin ecosystem. Thanks for being here with me today. Truly appreciate you all. We'll see you on the next one.